is related to mirror reflection. An object and its mirror image are equal in shape and size. An object and its image are always at the same distance from the surface of a mirror which is called the mirror line. The left and the right sides of an object appear inverted in a mirror. An object and its image show mirror symmetry with the mirror line being the line of symmetry. A kaleidoscope uses mirrors to produce images that have several lines of symmetry. Letters written from right to left appear written from left to right in their mirror image. The letters A, H, I, M, O, T, U, V, W, X and Y appear the same in their mirror image. All the other letters of the alphabets appear reversed in their mirror image. Symmetry has plenty of applications in real life as in art, architecture, textile designing, geometrical reasoning, columns, rangoli, etc. The concept of line symmetry is closely related to mirror reflection. A shape has line symmetry when one half of it is the mirror image of the other half. A mirror line thus helps us to visualize a line of symmetry. If points of a figure are equally positioned about a line, then we say the figure has reflection symmetry or sometimes mirror symmetry. The line is called reflection line the mirror line or the axis of symmetry. The axis of symmetry separates the figure into two parts, one of which is the mirror image of the other part. The simplest case of reflection symmetry is known as bilateral symmetry. Students try and find out the line of symmetry for English alphabets just like it has been shown to you. H, I, M, O, T, etc. Let's check how accurately you found the lines of symmetry for the asked alphabets. H has two, one vertical and one horizontal. I has two, one vertical and one horizontal as well. M has one, which is vertical. O has two, one vertical and one horizontal. And T has one, which is vertical. Go over the video again and see if you are comfortable with these keywords and phrases or not. Line symmetry, perpendicular bisector, bilateral symmetry, lines of symmetry and axis of symmetry. In case you cannot connect with some of these words or phrases, please feel free to ask me or ask your friends, discuss with them and better your understanding on these concepts till we meet again in the next session. Goodbye.